let me approach Skyhawk 2, 777 Tango. There's a 172 just departed Hamilton Owens to the west. We're at 1,500 for 4,500. Destination is Greenwood, and we'd like to request flight following, please. Number two, triple seven Tango, your radar contact, two miles north of the Himalons Airport, 1,800 feet indicated. VFR climbs right. approved, turn left on course, Greenwood. All right, sir, left on course to Greenwood. You had anybody else calling in for the Breakfast Club yet this morning? No, sir. Well, with the weather like this, hopefully you'll see and hear a lot of people heading that way. Rear approach two triple seven Tango is with you at 4,500. Number 777 Tango, traffic's 9.30 and 2 miles, appears to be paralleling you northwestbound. Know, Updating the case 3,000. They're probably following us into the Breakfast Club. The Breakfast Club's in Greenwood today. Oh, we didn't know that. Thanks for the info. So we have low landing fees and hungry for pancakes if you guys can make it up this way. <laughs> Greenwood traffic 2777 Tango turning final runway 27 Greenwood
jobs for volunteers at the Monroe Airport by keeping Tinkerbell humming. And respect is offered when this former World War II pilot arrives on the flight line. Are we going to go in? Yes, sir. You bet we are. Inching up the steps this door. and down a hollow hallway opens a sentimental floodgate of flashbacks for Jeb Stewart. Things look familiar, but there's some modifications. They've changed some things. This Greenwood, South Carolina native was first in the cockpit of a similar C-46 back in 1942. This was one of the best seats ever put in an airplane. Uh, we called it the barber's chair. Tinkerbell and Stewart, a former Army Air Corps captain, are getting top billing for this weekend's Warriors and Warbirds flying at the Monroe Airport. We want to take it out and let people know that, that we're promoting the aerospace industry here in Monroe. We also want to let them know what we're trying to do to honor the veterans. This veteran had the job of delivering American troops to foreign bases, and one run to Asia put him in contact with a group of unsung servicemen. It was my turn, it was Cairo, and it was westbound. Went out to see the plane, and my load was a bunch of Americans of Negro descent that were engineers off the Lido Road. Those soldiers built and protected supply routes linking the Chinese Burma and Indian theater. While Tinkerbell was being prepped for Saturday's event, Stewart managed to soar in something a little smaller. Circuit breaker. At age 91, he still holds a pilot's license and was tempted to touch the controls inside the Cessna. He didn't. Stewart chose to ride shotgun with former Matthews mayor, Lee Myers. To think about someone at his age, with his experience, and what he gave back to this country, it's one of those moments that I will never, ever forget. February 44. Holding pictures of the past offers another flashback. Safe flight. And autographing modern day images as a way of thanking his admirers. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Steve Crump, WBTV on your side, Monroe.